Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here and in today's video we are rebuilding the Memphis Grizzlies. I know my rebuilds have been a little weak as of late. I haven't been uploading a lot of them. I enjoy doing them. It's just the My Team content, man. It's been crazy and it's hard to, you know, these rebuilds are, are take like two hours to record sometimes depending on how many seasons I do. Like an hour and a half and it's a lot of editing. It's a lot, a big process and I'm going to have a lot more time once the NBA season's done and I don't have any more basketball games to watch because in a way I'm kind of inclined i have to watch basketball games you know i mean obviously i love basketball and i watch them anyways but you know what i mean like instead of the finals being on i could record a rebuild you know stuff like that so um we're back in the rebuilds and plus rebuilds i'm kind of okay holding off on them anyways cause it's more of an off-season thing so like i don't mind it gives me something to do in the off-season for basketball content so here we go memphis grizzlies like i said we have a whole realistic draft lottery right here as you guys see um, we, I know it takes me like 15 minutes to like trade all these picks so that it's realistic, but I got it. And we're going to go ahead and exit the draft lottery staff signing. I'm just going to leave everything how it is. And then we're going to go to the NBA draft. Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I want to keep JB bigger staff because the Grizzlies actually fired him. I'm going to actually hire a new coach because the Grizzlies fired JB bigger staff, I believe. So I'm going to hire somebody else. Uh, let's go. I'll just go Michael Stoffer, I guess. Whatever. They're both mulling, but they're both going to accept. Ooh, Randy Martin declined. All right, so we got a new coach. We have a new trainer. It is NBA draft time. And we are about to draft Ja Morant if we can. I'm sure. Ooh, what? Hold up. All right. Okay, so we'll get Ja Morant in a minute. But let's deal with this first. Valanciunas accepted his option. We're going to decline Avery Bradley because he wants a lot of money. Keep Ivan Rab. Keep Dylan Brooks. CJ Miles. Ah, uh, we got to keep him. That sucks. Okay, well, we're going to have to trade that trade that contract. And then let's go ahead and just advance. Oh, we have the Hawks. Hawks, Hornets, Heat. I was still controlling them. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so now we are only controlling the Grizzlies. Um, qualifying offers. DeLon Wright. Tyler Dorsey. Uh, I'll keep DeLon Wright, and then Tyler Dorsey, I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to keep him. And then Moratorium, so we're in free agency now, but actually I am going to trade Zion for John Morant. Okay, so here we go, Zion for John Morant, just straight up trade. And we got John Morant now, which we should have had John Morant anyway, I don't know why anybody would possibly take John Morant over Zion. But whatever, 2K is going to be 2K. Agency time, how much cap space do we have? 11.71. I wonder what kind of trades are out there for Mike Conley. We're going to see here. Um, we could trade for Ben Simmons? I mean, I don't want to do that, but it's Ben Simmons. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Eric Bledsoe and Ersan Ilyasova, Jordan Clarkson, Tristan Thompson. Al Horford and Robert Williams, Montrez Harrell and Landry Shamit, John Collins and Kent Bazemore, Hassan Whiteside and Kelly Olynyk, Malik Monk, Nick Batum, D Damian Dotson and Mitchell Robinson, Brandon Ingram and Mo Wagner, Mo Bamba and Evan Fournier, Tim Hardaway and Dwight Powell, Miles Turner, Miles Turner and Doug McDermott, Serge Ibaka, Fred Van Vliet, Tyler Johnson, the first round pick, Steven Adams and Dennis Schroeder, Andrew Wiggins and Josh Okogie. Okay, so 2K offered me. Ben Simmons and he really wouldn't work out well with uh, John Morant. Basically, we're going to be building, be building around point guard John Morant, power forward Jaron Jackson. So we need somebody that's not a point guard and not a power forward. Montrez Harrell's a center. I mean, I, he's better at power forward. Um, hmm. Brandon Ingram wouldn't be bad, but I feel like what's his potential? 84, maybe? Yeah. Uh, Mo Bamba, I guess, wouldn't be bad put play at center next to Jaron Jackson but not a lot here for us actually which kind of sucks I mean in terms of a small I mean like we could go with Andrew Wiggins but he wants way too much money he's not worth that the other actually let's go Conley and Valanciunas and see what we can do Kevin Love Al Horford Lou Williams and Montrez okay that definitely ups it Trey Young and Kent Bazemore Rudy Gobert now we're talking <sighs> Buddy Heald and Harrison Barnes Frank Tatilakina Aaron Gordon Drew Holiday, yo, okay. Kyle Lowry and Serge Ibaka. Chris Paul and Click Capella? Yo, okay, so we, we found 
Victor Oladipo, Miles Turner. That would actually probably turn us into immediate contenders. Um, Lowry and Abaka. I mean, these are some crazy trades, guys. These are like you don't usually see this many big name players in trades, especially for Mike Conley, who's 31 years. old. I understand that the Pacers will never in a million years get rid of Victor Oladipo. That's their guy. I wanted to do that Donovan Mitchell trade, but I feel like that's even more unlikely for the Jazz to ever trade Donovan Mitchell. Um, so I'm gonna trade. I think I'm gonna do this Victor Oladipo, Miles Turner trade for Mike Conley, Valanciunas, Parsons, and a second pick, second round pick. I know this is probably pretty unrealistic too, but there's no way in a million years the Jazz are going to trade Donovan Mitchell. I didn't want to do that one. So we're going to go Oladipo and Miles Turner. Lots of salary here. $30 million for, or $21 million for Oladipo and $18 million for Miles Turner. But, I mean, look at the salary we're giving to them. 32, 17, 25. So we actually probably end up having more cap space anyways for this current free agency we're about to be in. I mean, there's definitely like a... Like this one right here, Rodney Magruder and a pick from the Clippers for Anderson and Miles, done. Boom, we just opened up so much more cap space. So we do need a nice small forward, which we can definitely find one in the market. We got Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, Jimmy Butler. I mean, we could pay any of these guys. We have enough money to. Um, Kawhi would fit perfectly in Memphis. It's about as boring as it gets there. Uh, but Chris Middleton's probably a better option for us then we can continue to, um, you know, we can we can actually sign other people. Chris Middleton's not asking for a ton, you know? So I'm gonna try to sign Chris Middleton. I'm gonna give him a little more than what he wants though, just to try to lock him up. But I'm not gonna, you know, go overboard. Guess I can offer Kawhi what he wants, offer KD what he wants, but I'm probably more apt to actually um, sign Chris Middleton, because one, it's more realistic, and two, um, you know, I want to keep cap space so let's go ahead and just see who accepts chris milton accepted perfect that's what i wanted Kawhi back to the raptors kd back to the warriors so we got chris milton locked up which is nice and then we can sign whoever we need really i mean we need a backup point guard we need a backup small forward we probably need a backup power forward i don't know if ivan raps gonna be getting the job done and we need a backup center so Backup point guard, backup small forward, backup center. Okay, so now we gotta decide who we want here. I think I'd rather have Thad Young than JaVale McGee. So JaVale McGee, I am not keeping you. We got Middleton, Beverly, and Thad Young. JaVale, uh, we're gonna have to go veterans minimum for backup center, which is fine. My boy Boban, is he available? Yes, he is, my main man Boban. Bro, we can't even, we can't even afford 1.68, it's okay. Boban will sign with us. Boban's the GOAT. Okay, so we have quite the team here. We are all the way filled up, salary cap-wise. But we, uh, I think we made it quite the squad. So let's go ahead and just go straight to training camps. Okay, so we have three training camps. We're going to go ahead and give an untapped potential to, I think, Victor Oladipo, because I'm pretty sure 87 is what he's maxed out at. Just see if I can get him up to 90. Then It's kind of funny. I could give one to Middleton and Turner, too, honestly, but I'm not going to do that. Jaron Jackson, obviously... We're going to make him into a god. And then John Morant's our young stud. We're going to make him into a god as well. And advance to next season. I'm pretty excited for this season, guys. We have like a super team here. We got John Morant, Victor Oladipo, Chris Middleton, Jaron Jackson, and uh, Miles Turner. So we got John Morant at point guard, Patrick Beverly backup, Victor Oladipo at shooting guard, Dylan Brooks as a backup, a little weak at that position, but we might just go with nine-man rotation. We got Chris Milton, small forward. Trevor, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to go Thad Young at backup small forward, I think. Um, he actually becomes an 82. But we're going to go to John Morant and Beverly, Oladipo and Brooks, Chris Middleton and Thad Young, and then Jaron Jackson, Ivan Rabb, Miles Turner and Bobon. We're going to make Miles Turner into basically our sixth man. Not Miles Turner. Uh... Thad Young. We're going to make Thad Young into like our sixth man. So we're going to have John Morant, Oladipo, Middleton, Jaron Jackson, Turner. Thad Young is going to be getting pretty much starter minutes off the bench. Beverly, Marjanovic, Ivan Rabb, and Dylan Burks will be getting some minutes. Rodney Magruder, I don't know about that one. Get shooters open, shoot at will, crash offensive glass, limit perimeter shots, play physical defense, crash defensive glass. I'm not going to set scoring options, although I feel like there's so many scores on this team, I might have to kind of set scoring options just to kind of funnel the 
scoring into like the main players that you know I want. I feel like this is one of the situations where you have like nine guys on the team that all score above 10 points a game, which is kind of some, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It just kind of depends on how 2K feels like being, you know, any given moment. Here we go though, simulation time. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Maybe trade it on if we make some trades, but I think this team's pretty much gonna be amazing. All right, guys, season's over. James Harden wins MVP, Zion Rookie of the Year, Jarrett Culver, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis DPOY, Marvin Bagley, Most Improved, Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. So no awards there. Kind of sucks, but oh well. I'm sure we uh, have an award somewhere in here. Nobody will be first, second, or third team for us. Um... Victor Oladipo, all defensive first team, there we go. All defensive second team, nobody. And we have John Morant, all rookie first team, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, that looks like... That's someone was walking in. That looks like all the awards. We were the first seed in the West, guys. 58 wins, 24 losses. We're out here balling. Let's go ahead and look at the stats for the season. Player stats. Victor Oladipo, 70. This is exactly why I feel like I should have done scoring options 17.3 points per game for all the depot 4.7 assists 4.6 rebounds 1.5 steals john morant 16.5 points 6.7 assists 1.9 steals chris middleton 13.3 points 4.4 rebounds 4.9 assists jaron jackson 11.8 points six rebounds a game miles turner 11.4 points 7.7 rebounds boban averaged 10 points a game and six rebounds Patrick Beverly averaged almost 10 points a game. Thad Young averaged almost 10 points a game. This is what I was talking about. I feel like scoring options kind of orders your team better, if that makes any sense. Like it, I don't know. We may win this championship this year regardless. Uh, let's go ahead and see who does what in the playoffs. We are playing the Nuggets in round one. I feel like that might be kind of a tough matchup for us. And it's 1-1, 2-1, 2-2. 3-2, and we got eliminated. Eighth seed got eliminated by, or the first seed got eliminated, us, by the eighth seed, the Nuggets. It's pretty embarrassing. It's pretty gross, but we're going to be back next year. We're going to be amazing, so I'm not even worried about it. So we are in for agency again. We didn't have a pick because I traded it, so I just skipped all that nonsense. Uh, cap holds. We could try to re-sign Patrick Beverly here, um, and we probably need to get better backup players. Like, let's get rid of all these dudes. Um, we need to get better backup shooting guard, but you know, all that. I would like to bring back Patrick Beverly, though. He's definitely somebody that I always like to have. Let's sign him for two years. Might as well. Just because, you know, we're going to need him. JJ Redick, what's the most we could sign him for? If we could get JJ Redick, that would immediately solve our problem at backup shooting guard. If we can go 11 mil or one year, 10.6, I'll take it. If he doesn't accept that, Terrence Ross, can we sign him? Two years, 19 mil, I'll take that. Center. Can we get Dwayne Dedman? I wish we would have got him last year. One year, 6.4. We got Dedman and Rab. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually afford all those guys once we get past Moratorium. Can it, couldn't afford Riddick. Couldn't afford Dedman. Okay, so let me see who we did get. We got Patrick Beverly, we got Rab. So basically we got Patrick Beverly and Ivan Rab back. We still need a backup shooting guard, we still need a backup center. So I'm gonna make a trade here. I'm gonna trade Ivan Rab and uh, Thad Young for Marcus Morris and Patty Mills. I'm gonna probably trade Patty Mills, but I wanted Marcus Morris and he's basically a cheaper Thad Young. Um, I'm gonna put him at backup small forward and It'll save us some cap space here. I don't like giving up Thad Young because he was like, you know, our sixth man last year pretty much. But I think this move will help us because we need the cap space. So we got Marcus Morris now, and I'm going to make him a backup small forward. Marcus Morris, small forward. So he stays at 80 overall. So we're giving up a little bit of overall, you know, because Thad Young was at 82. But I think it's worth it. Patrick Beverly's a seven, or not Patrick Beverly, Patty Mills. There we go. We're going to try to trade Patty Mills. I don't know what we'll trade him for. Ooh, Alex Lynn. Yo, that works. If we can get Alex Lynn, I'm happy. Alex Lynn. Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll take Alex Lynn. I wanted to sign him in for agency. But then I went for Deadman instead. Yo, what happened? Go back. There we go. 
I'll take it. So we just got Alex Lynn. Perfect. See, it's all working out now. Patrick Beverly and John Morant. Oladipo and Chris Smith. I'm going to have to sign a backup shooting guard. Chris Middleton, Marcus Morris, Jaron Jackson. But then we got Miles Turner and Alex Lynn. So I still need a backup power forward and a backup shooting guard. So I'm going to trade Charles Smith and two picks for Wes Matthews and a first round pick from the Bucks. I'm a little concerned that Wes Matthews is actually going to go have a big overall decrease in the off like when we get back to the you know when the season starts so i think i'm going to trade wes matthews that we just traded for obviously and two picks for rodney hood in a pick uh this is basically me going all in on the team i have because i know we can't afford to not have a deep team and if wes matthews ends up being a waste of a trade it would not be good so we got we got rodney hood here he was gonna be our backup shooting guard and i trust that he's not gonna you know suck um, halfway through the year or whatever. He actually gets better at backup small forward, 78. I'll probably just still play him at backup shooting guard. But actually, it's kind of interesting. I could put Marcus Morris back at backup power forward. And then I could go... John Morant, Beverly. No backup shooting guard, but then we have Middleton Hood, Jaron Jackson, Marcus Morris, Miles Turner, Alex Lynn. I actually really like that. So now I think I'm going to keep that. And now we're still on the hook for a backup shooting guard, which is kind of crazy because I've been sitting here doing all these trades looking for a backup shooting guard for the last like uh, 15 minutes. But, you know, things change in the NBA from one moment to the next. So let's go to free agency. Maybe there's like a backup shooting guard we can sign somewhere. Wayne Ellington. I'll take Wayne Ellington. At this point, Wayne Ellington doesn't seem bad because we need him. Okay, boom, we got Wayne Ellington. And this team, I believe, is complete here. So as I am making this video, the Nets have traded Alan Crabb to the Hawks for Torian Prince. The Nets also traded a first round pick, uh, top 14 protected. So trade season in real life has officially begun. Kind of butthurt the Kings didn't trade for Torian Prince. I wanted him last year, but whatever. The Nets are gonna be a monster. They have two max slots and they got Torian Prince, who's a really good wing. Um, the Nets are going to be an up and coming team next year. I definitely predict them. I predict the Nets to be top six next year in the in the East. Um, what were they this year actually? Like seventh, I think. But I predict. I mean, the Nets are going to be like a like this year. They're kind of a shaky playoff team. Next year, they're going to be a solid, really good playoff team. Which I know that's probably not like breaking news to say, but still though, the Nets are going to be up and coming next year. It's going to be crazy. So um, back to the game. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Training camp. So, Jaron Jackson Jr. Let's give Jaron Jackson Jr. a big man defense. Why not? Now, let's go ahead and give perimeter shooting to John Morant. Because I feel like his perimeter shooting isn't great. Yeah, I mean, it's all, I mean his open shot three is at 83, but it definitely will help him. Now, let's give Miles Turner an untapped potential. Um, just to get Miles Turner a little better. And here we go, next season, guys. So coaching game plan, we got Morant, Oladipo, Middleton, Jaron Jackson, Miles Turner, Marcus Morris, Alex Lynn, Patrick Beverly, Rodney Hood, and Wayne Ellington. This team is looking great. They're looking exactly like I want them to look. So I'm going to go ahead and change up what I do this year in terms of uh, the coaching. We're going to go pick and roll offense, and we're going to go Morant, Oladipo, J Jaron Jackson Jr. is our scores. If I could find them, I skipped them. There we go. So we're going to go Morant. No, actually, no. We're going to go Oladipo, Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr. with a pick and roll offense. Everything else is going to stay the same. That might be a mistake. I might go back to get shooters open, but I feel like with the two big men we have, we should take advantage and set a lot of screens. Simulate time. We won 58 games last year, I think. We should got to get to 60 this year, right? I mean, come on. All right, guys, season's over. Steph wins MVP, Anthony Edwards, Rookie of the Year, Jabari Parker, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis DPOY, Michael Porter Jr., Most Improved, Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year, Nobody All NBA First Team, Nobody All NBA Second Team, uh, Nobody All NBA Third Team, All Defensive First Team, we have my boy Victor Oladipo again, and then Nobody Anywhere Else, it looks like. Um, oh, the mellow ball's on the Kings, yuck. All right, um... Yeah, nobody on the uh, nobody anywhere else. We're the first seed again.
playing the Nuggets again in the first round, but we only won 52 games this year. My whole pick and roll offense thing, like I said, didn't work. I had to switch back to get shooters open. It's a little too little too late though, but still we were really good. Um, player stats, Victor Oladipo, I actually got rid of the uh, scoring options too when I switched the offense. Victor Oladipo, 19.5 points per game, 5.8 assists, 5.3 rebounds. John Morant, 18 points, 3.6 rebounds, 8.1 assists, almost two steals a game. Jaron Jackson, 13 points a game, 16 point or 6.2 rebounds. <coughs> Jaron Jackson, 12.9 points per game, 6.2 rebounds. Chris Milton, 12.6 points. Marcus Morris, 12.4. Miles Turner, 10.9. 7.6 rebounds, two blocks a game. Alex Lund, 8.2 points, 6.7 rebounds. Rodney Hood, 6.9 points. Patrick Beverly, 6.6. So we had a decent year. The scoring's a little more condensed into you know some of our star players, which I kind of feel like Miles Turner and Jaron Jackson hurt each other, being next to each other more than they help each other. I feel like they take away from each other. But hopefully, we don't. If we lose this in round one, I'm done, because that'd be ridiculous. But here we go. Simulate playoffs. Playing the Nuggets again in the first round. We win the first. We win the second. We lose the third game. Lose the fourth game. Win the fifth, and we beat the Nuggets in six games. Point against the Warriors. Here we go. We won more games than the Warriors over the season, so hopefully we can beat them. Hopefully we're the better team. But we'll see, though. They are the Warriors. Simulate the first game, and Warriors win. Second game, Grizzlies win. Third game, Grizzlies win. Fourth game, Warriors win. So we're 2-2. Come on, we got to win this one. And the Grizzlies win it. Can we beat them in six? And we beat them in six. About to play the Lakers. Here we go. Simulate. Who's on the Lakers? Let's see who's on the Lakers. View box score. RJ Barrett, LeBron, Josh Hart, Noah Vonley, Lonzo, Kuzma, Horford, DeAndre Jordan, Ed Davis, Fred Van Vliet. Okay, so they got a little bit of a squad here. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate the first game. We win. Second game. We win. Third game. Lakers win. Fourth game. Lakers win, fifth game. Uh-oh, backs against the wall. Let's go to SimCast for this one. We're playing in LA, we gotta get this W here. This is an elimination game for us. Come on, come on. Looks like we're gonna get it. And we got the W. Sim like the next game. And we are in Memphis, we gotta get this W, come on. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, it's blowout time. It's blowout time, and we got the W, and we win. We beat the Lakers. We are going to the finals against the Celtics. Okay, the Celtics beat the Hawks in these conference finals. Let's go ahead and simulate. Game one in Boston. Not starting out great, but it's a long series, or hopefully it'll be a long series. Celtics are going on scoring runs here, and it looks like we can't compete with it. I mean, we're staying kind of close, but not close enough. Game two here. We gotta we gotta steal one in Boston. And it looks like we are woo, we're scoring. Unless we give up a massive lead here, which we kind of are, we should be good for this game. But they're they're sticking around. Kyrie can get hot at any moment. I'm assuming Kyrie's still on the team though. Oh my god, they're taking over. Come on, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Wow, so we just lost the first two in Boston. Not looking good. We're in Memphis though. I mean Boston did their job. They won their games at home. If, as long as we win our games at home, we're good. It's looking like... Oh my god, this is scary right now. We need to go on a scoring run. Come on. Come on. Wow. Yep, we're down 3-0. Okay. So we're down 3-0, guys. We're going to need a miracle here. We're going to need a long shot. You never know what could happen, but... Let's see. We're in Memphis. We gotta get this W. We're almost in blowout territory, it feels like. It feels like we're just gonna get smashed. Okay, here we go. We can't seem to pull away from this Celtic, the Celtics team. They're too good. 86-86 with five minutes left. I almost wanted to jump in there, but I'm just gonna, you know, I trust the Grizzlies. I trust in this team. Come on, come on. Oh my god. 
Come on. Yes! We got a game. Woo! We won by one point, but whatever. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. There it is, 3-1. Here we go. We got to win four straight to win the finals here. It's unlikely, but you never know what will happen. We got to win this one in Boston. If we can't win this one, then we're done. And we're getting blown out, it looks like. Ugly, uh, ugly. Oh, comeback time. Here we go. Bro, we just went on a huge run. Bro, we're about to win this in Boston. Yo, come, the comeback is real. 3-2. We only have two more games to win, and we're, and we're champions. Come on, we got to win this one in Memphis. Come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this. Make the comeback, make the comeback. I know you want to make the comeback. Uh-oh, we're getting blown out. Yep. Well, we're getting blown out by 40 points. Uh, <laughs> I'll jump in for the last five minutes just, just to do it, but it's it's not looking promising. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the Grizzlies are going to be pretty good in like two years. As soon as, you know, Jaron Jackson and Moran are probably going to be a pretty nasty duo. Jaron Jackson for three. Misses it. Uh, Morant and Jackson are definitely going to be a pretty nasty duo. If they can just get a nice wing in there. Oh, grab that ball. Grab it. Ah. <sighs> They can get a nice wing player in there. I don't know who it would be, but if they can get a nice wing, bruh. They'll be a pretty formidable trio of players, whoever that wing would be. I don't know who would go sign in Memphis. That's the problem. So you, 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 if you're the Grizzlies, you kind of have to hope. John Morant! Oh, look at that dunk. If you're the Grizzlies, you kind of have to hope that you're not too good because if you get too good, then you won't be able to draft a wing that you need and you probably won't be able to trade for one. Or, or you could trade for one, but you won't be able to sign one because... Nobody will go sign with the Grizzlies. Kind of like, and trust me, I'm a Kings fan. I know nobody will sign with the Grizzlies. Nobody will sign with the Kings. Nobody wants to go to the Pelicans. You know, Jaron Jackson. Look at that. What a man. Well, guys, that's the rebuild. We were not able to get the, to get the W. We were not able to win the championship. The Celtics ended up winning it. I think that's all I'm gonna do because we went two seasons and we had a stacked team. We couldn't win. But it was still exciting to see what this team could turn out to be. I mean, John Morant's an absolute stud. Jaron Jackson's amazing. Obviously, this is kind of like a super team almost. Like Middleton, Jackson, Patrick Beverly, Rodney Hood. But then you got Turner, John Morant, Marcus Morris. Like, this is a Victor Oladipo. Like, this is a stacked team. Obviously, no one's going to put together a team like this. It'd be cra too crazy. It'd never happen. But still, though... The Grizzlies have a lot of cap space and a bright future. So, guys, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a like. Leave a comment down below for who you want me to do a rebuild next. I'll probably do the next RJ Barrett rebuild. And subscribe if you're new here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you in the next one. I love you.